Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm the Outdoor Learning Officer here at the Water of Leith Conservation Trust in Edinburgh. Our job is to look after the river, the Water of Leith. It's a 26 mile river, not that long, it starts off in the Pentland Hills, comes down right through the centre of the city of Edinburgh and the mouth of the river is at, the, is at Leith and it flows out into the Firth of Forth estuary. In these two videos I'm going to show you some basic field study techniques for finding more out about this river or any other river. You'll be working from a data collection sheet like this to record what you find. Before you get into the river, take a moment to record the date, the weather conditions and a GPS location. Note any river features around you, like a floodplain, braiding, meanders, erosion, as well as land use and human features, like bridges. Ideally, you will repeat the same survey techniques at three different locations along the river. This could be in the upper stage, middle stage and lower stage if you want to compare your river to a model like the Bradshaw model, or you could choose three locations in the same stage highlighting different river features. So let's get into the river. The first measurement you'll need is the current channel width. This is the width of the water surface, sometimes called the occupied channel width. To measure it, one person stands on one bank with their toes touching the beginning of the channel and holding a tape measure. The other person crosses to the other side of the river holding the other end of the tape measure. You have to be really careful crossing a river. Never enter when the water levels are high or in spate and feel your way across as the stones on the riverbed can be very slippery. Use a wading pole to steady yourself. An old broomstick works really well. When you reach the other side and find a secure place to stand, hold the tape measure taut around 20 centimetres above the surface of the river and record the width from the edge of the current water channel to the other side. The water of Leith is what we call a flashy river, which means that the river levels go up and down pretty quickly, especially when you get into the city and the street drains drain into the river. So the current channel width can vary in the course of a single day. In the bank full width, we are measuring the maximum capacity of the river channel out with flood conditions. The best way to determine this is to measure from the vegetation on one side of the river to where the vegetation begins on the other bank. For the wetted perimeter, you are measuring the river channel that is in contact with the water. To do this, you need a very long and heavy chain which you lay along the river bed, taking care to ensure the chain is not stretched too taut or too slack. Once you've determined the length, Put a carabiner in the end section of chain touching the water, or just hold it with your finger. Drag the chain out of the water and then lay it as straight and taut as you can along a flat stretch of riverbank. Then get your tape measure out and carefully measure the length of the chain that was submerged in the water. To record the cross-sectional area of the river, take measurements of its depth at 10 equally spaced intervals and then record them on a graph. Take the current channel width measurement and divide it by 10 so you know where to take the measurements. Then work your way across the river using a metre stick to record the depth. Take care to hold the metre stick side on so that it's less likely to bend in the current and to distort the readings. <laughs> 